Hi, this video is going to give you an overview of the installation and use of the BigBlueButton Activity Module for Moodle 2.0 and 2.1, brought to you by Blindside Networks. This module will take advantage of the record and playback capabilities in BigBlueButton 0.8. We'll start first with installing the module. So I've already copied the BigBlueButton Blindside Networks Activity Module to the root directory of my Moodle server, and I just unzip it, and it will put into the right directories the two components. I have here a Moodle server set up, which I'm going to log into as administrator, and you can see it's detected the two new uh, components. Let's install them and click continue. Now to configure, you just need two pieces of information. The URL for your BigBlueButton server. Here, I'll just leave the default, a test server, and a shared secret. And again, I'll just leave the default here. This is a test server that we provide from Blindside Network, so you can test out the uh, Moodle activity module. Let's go to our class and we'll start first by adding uh, an activity so that we can launch a collaborative real-time classroom. So we'll add a BigBlueButton BN activity and we'll give it a name. So what's the name of the virtual classroom? We can give a custom welcome message. We can have the links open up in a new window. We'll, we'll leave it as it is. We can have students required to wait until a moderator joins. We'll leave this as a default. Uh, this activity module also makes, makes use of the Moodle calendar, so we'll show that by setting a, an entry and an exit date which people can join. And we can specify this session to be recorded. We definitely want to record it, and we'll give the recording a description. Here we'll call it uh, an invitational lecture. The recordings can have a duration of how long the class will be. We'll leave it at four hours, and the activity module makes use of the common Moodle settings. So we'll save that, and let's add the calendar block so that we can see the entries now made by the activity module. There, you can see that it's from the 11th to the 18th. So if we make a recording, we want to be able to give students access to the recordings afterwards. So uh, we're going to add uh, a component here that will uh, retrieve the recordings a resource that will retrieve the rec all the recordings for the session. So if I have multiple links, it will gather and show all the recordings that are made for each one of those links. So let's demonstrate how this is used. I'm just going to switch over to a student, Craig, uh, who's already registered from this course, and let's join the evening class. Um, so now it says that the moderator has not yet started, which is what we had left it as setting. So let's log in here. I'm logged in as the administrator, which has privileges to join as moderator as well. So I'll join the session, and in Craig's browser, there. It automatically detected the session started and logged Craig in. Um, so Craig and the admin user are now in the audio conference bridge. Let's start with, we'll upload a presentation. So at this point, uh, the interaction is real time. Um, one of the things that the administrator can do is chat. So here it just says, welcome Craig. And as Craig, I'll type a response back. And this is a general chat window. If you click the plus sign, you can do a private chat to somebody. Uh, but this was just chatting in the general chat. You can also record, you can also um, uh, manage the audio for the session as well. So here the administrator will mute Craig, and you can see Craig is now muted. And the typical scenario is you just lock the, yourself as being unmuted and just mute everybody else. You can also share your desktop and share your webcam as well. A little bit more overview of Big Blue Button. We'll go through uh, a few of the slides and we'll show how uh, one of the key things about Big Blue Button is it keeps the viewers in sync with the presenter. So as I go next and previous, you can see it updating on Craig's machine. You can see as I move the red dot around, it's in sync. And I can jump to a particular slide. And there's also whiteboarding capability in Big Blue Button as well. So you can, as a presenter, you can annotate the slide. So the teacher can call highlights to particular things in the slide, and you can see how those are kept in sync. The viewers may have it at a different scale, but the, what the view they see is in sync. Okay, so let's uh, end the class. Now, even though the, the teacher's left, there's still students in the class, Craig, and since the class is over, we're going to end it right now, and this will terminate the class for everybody. You can see Craig's browser has now left. Um, Another thing is once we terminate the class, since we set Big Blue Button to record this session, uh, the server in a few moments will start processing the recording and make it available for playback. So we can see here in the list of recordings, there's nothing available. We'll skip ahead a few moments. There, the server now has them available for recording. 
and we are going to just click to play back the recording. So when it plays back, it plays it back in an HTML5 interface inside the browser. So here I'm able to see the slides, I can see the chat, and I can hear the audio as well. And the audio bar allows me to slide anywhere in the lecture, to, and you can see the current slide at that point. Um, so this is all HTML5 playback. Let's see what Craig would see. So uh, I'll go back in as Craig. I'm going to look at the list of recordings uh, for this class. And I see the same entry. Now, in the activity module, we provide some capabilities uh, to publish and unpublish the recordings as well. So here I'm just going to click on the eye icon to make it hidden. Um, and in a moment, it will there disappear from, the, from Craig's view. Uh, let's go back and let's publish it again. Uh, this view will automatically refresh itself. So if I go back uh, there, it's now visible and let's delete it. So when we delete it, it's no longer accessible by anybody and there it disappears. So that's an overview of the Moodle activity module uh, that takes advantage of the record and playback in the latest release of Big Blue Button 0.8. Um, our goal again was to surface all the capabilities inside of Moodle and make them available to you in your classes. So this module is brought to you by uh, Blindside Networks. We're the company that started the Big Blue Button project, and we can help you integrate it, provide second level support, scale it, brand it, host it, and any custom features you need. More information, contact us at blindsidenetworks.com.